Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today I'm going to explain unit test with example. So here I have taken an example module and say the example module, you have a testing example module. I have taken that as example here. So I'm going to explain how this is working for unit test, okay? So before that, uh, let me explain what we are going to test first, okay? First, they have created a controller, okay? This is a controller. And in this, uh, so they are uh, just created a controller and they are using a container injection interface. So they will be using a constructor argument. So here uh, they are using string translation argument for the constructor. And here there is a function called display added numbers, first and two and hand count. So if you go to hand count function, so hand count function calling to another function called add. So where you will be getting sum of two. Okay, here you can see it will return the sum of first and second value. Once they both are sum, summed and it is returned. So here, uh, if the sum of two is less than five or equal to five, you can count that number in one hand. Or if it is less than 10, you, you have to use two hands to count this. If it is more than that, then uh, it's difficult for you to count it in two hands. Okay, that's what this is doing. So here, uh, so they are using this uh, uh, constructor string translation container here, right? So why they are using is that in the hand count function, they are using T function. That's why they are using that function in the constructor, okay? So this function and this controller is very simple. So you can understand we can we have three functions. First one is uh, display added number. So it will give you the message whether you can uh, count it in single hand, two hands, or you need more than that. So this will give that output. So this will go, go to the hand count. And from the hand count, it will go to the add function where you will get the sum. Okay, only three function we are having, hand count, add, and display added numbers. Okay, so now we are going to test these two functions. So how these two functions are working, hand count and then add. So for that, we are going to write a, a test case for unit testing. So since it's a function, uh, we can use unit testing. So only the autoloader, this class is enough for us, us to write a, um, test for this by by passing the two value we can pass it manually and we can test uh, whether these two functions are working properly or not okay so uh, this is the file if you see where it is placed under test folder src under unit unit they have placed inside the controller and if you go to uh, here so as i already mentioned for unit test you have to extend this unit test case so this is extended and then we are going to use this controller that controller is already added in the use statement and then here so uh, when you uh, as i already mentioned so whatever function you are writing in a test file whatever function is started with test okay all those functions will be automatically tested by itself, okay? So first we have test add. So we are going to test only the add function, how the add function is working, whether it is correct or not, okay? So for this function, you have to pass some argument, right? So to pass some argument, you have to use an annotation called data provider. So in the annotation data provider, whatever function you are mentioning, the data will be, arguments will be fetched from that particular function. So for test add, we are using this function as a data provider. So here you can see they are passing expected output first and then second argument. So these three arguments, they are passing from there. Okay. So now we got argument for our test uh, test add function. And if you go down, right, we have to use that contract controller function. So for that, uh, so first we have to create a mock builder. So mock builder means so it will just give you the path of the class, like uh, it's uh, like it will give get class function like that only. So get a Drupal testing example and slash. Uh, so whatever the path controller and then the class name. So this is the class name. So this will simply give you the get class function return. So we are just mocking it. 
So it's not a real function. We are just mocking the same function here. Okay. So the controller will contain the uh, class name of the contrib controller. So once we got it in the controller and second line, if you see here, we are using disable original constructor. Disable original constructor in the sense the constructor argument. So string translation we are passing right in the constructor function. So we are disabling this. Why we are disabling? So as I already mentioned, we are using this particular argument to add t function in your functions. So we have t functions in this hand count, but we don't have this function in the add. So we are not using that constructor argument. That's why we are just disabling the constructor and getting the mock of that class. Okay, once we got it, in the next line, if you see, they are using the reflection method. What is reflection method? So in your controller, if you go and check, the controller add function is a protected function. So basically, uh, oops concept will not allow you to use your protected function outside the class, right? So to access the protected function outside your class, you have to use this class called reflection method. So what it will do from this controller, I just want to uh, get this function without any problem. So you have to set the accessibility true. So when you set it, you can access the protected function without any issue. If you are going, if your function is public, this particular two line is not required, okay? So once you've got it, Next, what, I, what we are going to do, we are just going to check whether they both are equal or not for that. So first one is expected. So expected, as I mentioned, four will come. Yes, four will come. And then next, what they are doing, they are just invoking arguments. First one will be the controller, this controller. Okay. And then from the controller, we are passing the argument of first and second, these two, which means two and uh, two. So two and two, we are passing that argument here. So once you passed, so four should be equal to this two, uh, two, two value after added. So it will be four. If it is uh, equal, the test is passed. So here they have written very simple example for add function. I hope you can understand what I explained here. And then uh, next one is, we have to test the hand count function, right? How many hands you needed to do something. So for that, uh, they have provided a test hand count. So if you go down, you can see data provider provide test hand count. So you can see here. So we are going to test as I already mentioned, the function is started with test. So automatically the function will be invoked when, the, when we are running the test for this particular file. And here expected first and second. So when you go to the provider, so expected will be zero and zero. So zero, zero, you can count it in one hand. So this is the expected. So this is the uh, one comma two, one hand. So all this they already mentioned. So we will be getting the string here and then the first number and then second number, we will be getting it. And then next, as I already mentioned, in the hand count function, they are using T functions, right? So for using T function, we need an argument to pass in the constructor. In the add, we are not passing, we are just disabling the constructor arguments, okay? Here we need to pass the arguments. To pass the argument for the string translation, we already have a function called get string translation slab, which is already defined in the base class of the testing. So if you go to unit test case, so here in core, here you can see the function is already there. So where they already created mock for the translation interface. So we are just going to use the same function to pass our argument to the constructor of our controller. Okay, so they are just uh, getting that and saving it in a variable. So when you initialize a class for your con contrived controller, so we are just passing that mock translation. Once the mock translation argument is passed, the object will be created successfully. Next, again, as like I already mentioned, they are using reflection method. So I think this is also protected function. Yeah, so this is also protected function. So they are just using the reflection method to make it visible 
uh, accessible outside. So they are setting the accessible true. And then next, as like before, so they are passing it and invoke argument, the controller, and then first and second. So first and second, once you've got the message, so message will be single hand or two hand, whatever, the string will be returned from that hand count function. And then expected, so expected will be the argument what we are passing. So expected is this. So that should be equal to this. If that is equal to that, then the test is passed for us. That is worst. That is what they are doing here. And then next. So uh, when you see here, uh, before that, before I'm, I go to the isolated functions, I just want to explain one more thing. When you see, we have two functions, right? One is hand count and then one is add function, right? Yeah. So hand count is depend on an add function, right? But add function is an independent function, but hand count is depending on the add function which we have already okay so consider if this add function is not working okay what will happen it will fail the add test and also it will fail the hand count right because this function is depend on add function so uh, if you want to test whether uh, so the issue is because of add that's why the hand count hand count function is not working so to to figure out from where the issue is coming, whether it's from add or it's already issue from the hand count. So to do that, we have one more way to do that is what isolated function. So let me explain that now. So test hand count, this is done. And next one is provided test hand count isolated. So this is a provider. So let me go to the actual test function and then I will come here. So this is the actual test function. So test hand count isolated. So isolated in the sense this function is doesn't depend on any other function. So in this case, this function is not dependent on the add function which we have. So this is something isolated. So if the test is uh, fine with hand count and the test is failed with the um, test add and then test hand count, the issue is with the test add, which means add function is not working not the hand count that's why we are using this isolated way to do that so to do that for the test function we need to pass as like expected right but when you see the already existing test count so we will be passing the two argument so expected first and second so we will be using first and second argument and we will be adding them and then we will be doing it right so here we are not going to pass the first and second argument so we are passing the complete sum so we are not going to use this add function at all we are just going to give the sum of two numbers okay so we are just going to sum uh, pass the sum of two numbers so there will be only two argument expected and the sum okay so we are not going to pass the uh, first and second number for the add okay so that we can understand whether the test hand count is working fine or not right so here when you see here so they are using the range function. So range function in PHP, you know, right, how it works. So it will be uh, creating an array from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So the output will be like a dollar data soft array. And inside that, there will be one more array. The first one will be 0. So 0, comma the string, whatever they are passing, OK? so. So it will be like, this is the first one, yeah, expected and then sum. Okay, so then next, the same and then one. Okay, so this is how the array will be uh, constructed. So it will be zero stands to right? Yeah, and then one stands to. equal to okay so now so this is how it will go until five until five so in the same data variable we are adding again six to ten and then eleven to fifteen so the array will contain the data array will contain zero to fifteen it will be sixteen element okay so in data provider it's not mandatory that you have to pass only one value one value one argument so if you see here uh, so here they can you can see they are passing n number of test cases one two 
three. But when you see test add, so they are passing only one, you can add one more. So it will work. Zero comma, one comma. So sorry. Two comma, one comma, one. So you can pass like this, even that will work. So you can pass n number of test cases in your provider function. So in this, what they are doing uh, in the data provider, so in the data provider, they are just passing the string and then sum. So they are taking each number as a sum and they are just doing it. And that's it. Here they are passing. When you go to the test case, first, as like already mentioned, they are just using this uh, get string translation step that is set it as a constructor argument. And they are just going to mock this add function also. Before that, in both classes, we just, in both uh, add and hand count function, we just mocked only the class. Here, we are mocking add class also. So you add, add function also, but we here we are going to mock, here we are going to mock add function also, that's why they added. And here, when you see here, and they are, they are calling to the add method by passing zero, zero value, but the method will return us sum. So sum is what? Sum is the argument which you are passing in the isolated function that is coming from our provider. So it will be passing like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 until 15, right? So uh, once you got that output, so again, hand count is uh, uh, protected. So you have to use this. And then invoke argument, you have to pass. So as I already mentioned, you have to pass 0, 0, but it will not take 0, 0, the uh, output as 0, 0. It will take uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, until 15. So once you passed it, if the expected message is, expected message is equal to message, then the test is passed. So by this way, you can make sure whether the issue is from hand count function or add function. If if you have dependent each other, okay. So this is what unit test example. So I hope everyone understood it. So let me run this and show you. So I already ran it. So let me rerun it again. So I already posted a video how to do a setup and how to run any testing in your Drupal instance. You can go and check it. So you can check here the test is. Uh, run and it's ran successfully and also uh, unit test will run very fast compared to kernel or functional testing or functional javascript since it's very simple and easy and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye